being from Taiwan, I've always been fascinated by the human body. I studied rehabilitation and I became very accustomed to seeing disabled bodies and began questioning how disability was defined. So through my practice, I use the word prosthesis a lot, but I use it very consciously aware of how it, it assumes a body in need of supplementation in a sense that creates the disability. So in my works, I try to present the human as an assemblage with these auxiliary organs that allows it to grow, vary, and adapt. In my performative piece here at B2, um, a cryptanalysis on the foreign body language. I'm specifically looking at how vulnerable and intimate these body machine unions are. Um, I'm working with this company, Sapien LLC, which um, they're developing a technology to help the hearing impaired hear with their tongues. And that may sound like a very absurd statement, but if you think about the notion of the human assemblage, then why can't you hear with your tongue or sing with your skin? In this performance, the audience is invited to participate in a very intimate experience where they wear this headpiece with the technology in it, and it enables them to feel my physiological changes. They can learn the patterns like learning a new language, so they'll be able to tell when I'm like excited, aroused, in pain, and so on. So that changes what it means to be human, and it provokes the question of what it could mean.